Hey guys, Ben here from United Yacht Sales and welcome back to the channel. I understand I had, you know, things have been a little difficult with getting videos out recently and the last video was a bit of a weird one, but uh, I want to showcase the reality that yacht brokerage isn't all just, you know, gluts and guts and glory. Sometimes it's a little less glamorous, you know? So the good news is if you weren't too keen on the last video, you'll like this video because it's completely the opposite. Uh, this video is my tour of a 2013 Lagoon 620. Michaela Bella. She is, you know, in very good condition, mostly just used by the owner privately. 3,500 hours on the jet, on the engines. She has two generators with both with very low hours, both of them under 2,000 hours. Uh, you know, two water makers, multiple AC units, great inventory of sale. All in all, just a really nice boat. Have any questions about her, drop me a line with my info in the description. That said, Thank you and uh, please enjoy the tour. So we're starting in the cockpit looking aft. We've got a big line of seating on the transom as well as storage under all of here. Uh, boat is put away for hurricane season mostly, so that's where the cushions would be. We've got a dinghy on a hydraulic uh, tender lift. We've got 60 horsepower Yamaha as well as this is a high field. Uh, it's covered up and these, you know, vinyl covers aren't very common in the States. Uh, they are, you know, tough, but not particularly pretty. So we've got life rafts on either side of the transom for easy deployment. Teak steps leading down to your water access. And beneath the starboard mechanical space, you've got two water makers as well as one of the Volvo 200 horsepower engines. Uh, interesting thing about the 620 is that it actually, this was the first lagoon to pioneer uh, aft access to the cockpit. So these do open up. They're not just there for show. Making our way forward, you see how Lagoon was an early adopter of uh, flush, flush hatching, as well as grab rails along the side, and these stays to hold on to. That's not a toy, just a fender. I'm not sure why it was left there. But you've got bow seating right here. Uh, the owner added a optional bowsprit from the factory for a Code Zero or a light air sail. And you've got two electric furlers, one for the stay sail and the other for the Genoa. Look about the looking aft at the flybridge as well as the windows. We've got a Lumar windlass here that leads to a plow anchor. And in the forward hatch, you've got the first of the Cummins Onan generator, 21.5 uh, kilowatt, as well as more storage. And uh, the inverters, master volt. We'll take a pick. Uh, we'll take a quick peek in the crew cabin simply because most people don't really look in here The boat does have a crew cabin in the interior, but just in case you ever wondered what these actually look like Yeah, they're they're not as nice and also it doesn't help they're not air-conditioned, but uh you can access them from the interior if you wanted to cool them off. Look at the rig, you'll notice it has a nice Park Avenue boom. Makes flaking the sail real easy. Double spreaders on the rig. We'll come back to so that we can look at the all important uh, starboard mechanical space. Notice nice step to get to the dinghy. It's a nice touch. So here we have the Volvo D3 100 engine, the second Cummings Onan generator, all of your wiring and conduits, transformer, as well as your pumps and filters, and your starter batteries. These boats were, you know, made to be workhorses of the charter industry, and as such, they need to be serviced often. And Lagoon knew that and definitely put some effort into making things accessible for the the guys that have to 
come down in here. On the wet bar, we've got a fish station cutting board for cutting up your catches. In here is a, a fridge freezer combo, as well as an ice maker, sink, steps leading up to the flybridge. We'll do a, a not so quick pano of the cockpit. Let's head up to the flybridge first this time. The teak on this boat is in really good condition, minus a bit of wear in some trafficked areas. Up here you've got a, uh, well I call it a beer cooler since it's mostly for drinks. One, two, three, four Harkin winches, as well as a sun pad up here. We'll do a visibility check walking backwards. This boat has brand new Raymarine hybrid uh, touch electronics, courtesy of a yet another Central American lightning strike. Here's the starboard helm station and the port helm station, again with all new Raymarines and compass, as well as your Volvo throttles. This boat doesn't have throttles on the stern, but it does have two, uh, two helm stations, and you're virtually never going to want to dock it uh, bow first, so having two helm stations does help, obviously, depending on whatever side you're docking on, as well as whatever tack you want to sail on, as well as you've got a satellite, uh, but that's covered up. So this boat is the six cabin layout, aka the charter layout, though technically this boat has never been chartered, it's spent its entire life in South America. It's got a five burner stove as well as a oven. The owner went with triple uh, cold storage units, lots of countertop space on this island, trash can, dual basin sink, storage forward of that, a stereo system as well as a forward-facing nav station with the iPad controls, as well as more. Again, new Raymarine electronics, interior throttles. They've got four windows up here in case you wanted to turn the AC units off and just uh, enjoy the breeze, though. This boat has so many AC units, that's scarcely necessary. Salon has an L-shaped uh, settee, and both of these tables fold out and rotate, so you can put them together as such. making our way aft. I like this room the best because of course you have, you know, nice views of the water thanks to the uh, aft facing uh, companionway. As well as a uh, personal storage locker on the side here. The first of five heads on this boat. The middle double stateroom. Each stateroom comes with its own uh, LCT, LG TV. Lagoon adds these covers on the side for, I don't know, block out sun as well as give you a bit of extra privacy though. Some people do remove them. Um, I think they're just okay. I'm not really bothered by that. Here you have the forward head with access to the crew cabin. Although I just typically see people, you know, stick Dometic uh, extra freezer units in there nowadays. Mm -hmm. 
another bed as well as ample storage beneath the bed on this athwart ship's berth. All in all, I like the uh, you know the interior. It's in very good condition. Uh, this room is being used for storage, so not going in there right now. Uh, the only difference between the uh, halves of the boat is that the middle, the middle stateroom on on the uh, port side is made up of this double bunk, which is the quote unquote real crew cabin, but. You know, you can make kids share it if, uh, depending on whatever your plans are. Got a nice writing desk here, and every uh, every cabin is equipped with its own Dometic as well as uh, Fusion music player. Walk through this head right here. Whoops. <laughs> On to the, the final stateroom is again same as the other one. Another thing about Lagoon is they really do try and squeeze as much storage as possible. Even this just kind of little space in between the staircase and the uh, forward stateroom. There's just a little bit there, you add more storage. That's so, it's always a nice touch. One thing about this nav station chair is that it also folds in and out on this little fulcrum thing. That's neat. And final neat feature is you've got a washer dryer combo up here as well since I'm afraid that's something which is disappearing from uh, many marinas and if you got a lot of guests you got a lot of laundry so that is Michaela Bella she is uh, Lagoon 620 lying here in Fort Lauderdale available for immediate sale if you have any questions please don't hesitate to use my uh, contact info in the description or uh, pinned comment as always if you like the video please be sure to like subscribe uh, if you dislike the video leave a dislike complain out of mind and as always, I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks.